bloggers and vloggers. So today should have been my five week update. I just do not have the time today and I am so sorry, but you know, it's not fair to you and it's not fair to future me to just throw something randomly out there, you know, and not actually divulge into what I want to say. I think that's the word I want, but I'm not sure. <laughs> but anywho, so this is just kind of like an update and introducing this pregnancy. So let's get into it. So I am currently five weeks and one day and I did get an early ultrasound on at four weeks and six days and in my actual update video I will explain further about why I needed to have an early ultrasound but for right now I just kind of want to say that everything looks the way that it should and that's so amazing and that's exactly what we were hoping for and both myself and Christopher and my OB feel very confident that maybe this will be our rainbow baby so that is so exciting and currently she has me on progesterone and she said that we'll probably do that until 10 weeks and then kind of kind of decide from there where to go so that's really awesome and she, we've already started my stockpile on that so it helps make me feel a little less scared about our trip to Korea because I was I wasn't sure if they would be able to um, give me like kind of a stock up in case I ran out and that's just it, I just feel so much better knowing that I will have more than enough in case something happens so moving on um, the way that I found out so it was the 24th of January and it was a Sunday and we just weren't really doing much that day and the only reason why I took a test is because I was so hormonal I was so hormonal and just so tired and there was no reason to be tired because I had been relaxing pretty often and so I just decided to take a test I didn't think much of it so when I took it I just kind of left it on the counter and I walked away to go do what I what I needed to do I don't remember what I was doing exactly but about five minutes later I remember and I was like oh Christopher can you go take a look at that test I don't really remember you know if I looked at it or not so he looked and he was like well there's two lines there and Honestly, the rest of the day is sort of a blur. I think we were just kind of in shock and we just sort of like moseyed on our way. Like we just kind of acted like life was as it was. We we were just in shock. And then uh, the next day on Monday, I tested again just to make sure that I wasn't seeing things because it is a blue dye test and blue dye tests usually give false positives. Um, so I took another test and it was really faint so I was like, ah, oh, you know, it, I'm probably not pregnant, it's just a faulty test. But I went in any way to get my blood drawn and it was at 99, which you have to be above 5 to be pregnant. So I was, I was pregnant, you know, being at 99. And from there it just kind of progressed and I will talk about that in the next vlog. Um, but yeah, it was a huge shock and I really was cautious on telling anybody. I think like maybe three people knew. Um, until, you know, like I knew for sure that my blood results were going good because, you know, it's just like, you can't be excited as soon as you see that positive. You just can't because when you've had so many miscarriages, you're like freaking out. But, and I, a lot of people have given me, a lot of people that are not on my Facebook have kind of been like, Hey, you know, why would you announce so early? That's bizarre. Um, in my mind, announcing early is not going to change the future. It's not going to be like, oh, you know, it's, it's not. Like, if you're going to miscarry, you're going to miscarry. And I hated announcing losing my babies and not celebrating them. So this, this kind of gave me the opportunity to celebrate them and not so much just like, so they're gone. You know, it, it just, it feels right to do it this way. So I just kind of threw away what others would think about us and we decided to just just tell everyone but yeah so anyways um as far as belly pictures go i will probably show you my belly during my five week update but i don't really plan to show my belly very often that's just a personal choice because i've noticed that for some reason when people are pregnant everyone just thinks it's an excuse to tell people what they think about how big or how small they are like, I've had so many people tell me, oh, you look like negative five months pregnant or this and that and whatever, and I just want to eliminate that. So I don't really plan to show my belly <laughs> at all. Um, and we don't plan to find out the gender, 
and that's about all the plans we really have right now. So we do plan to keep up the nerd theme, the nerd theme. Um, with every time that we announce something new, we do plan to make like little short videos of like nerdy things and it would just be really fun. So anyway, thank you for watching. Bye bye. See you next time.